Hey, what up, everybody? It's Akeem with Live Be Do. Um, shout out to all my solo travelers. This is a quick video for all of you in the black travel community. Um, whether you travel with groups or whether you travel solo, um, I have a few tips that I want to share for uh, about the way I travel. Um, traveling can be stressful. I know people, you know, we get on social media and we, we can clip, copy and paste and edit and make our whole travel experience look flawless and beautiful and incredible. Ah, good food, you know, great experiences. But in between and outside of that video, a lot, a lot of things go on, lots of things go on and a lot can happen. So I want to talk to you about the ways that I travel. I, first of all, I check in with the local community. How? Um, I know a lot of people I've spoken to in, a, in recent times uh, will say, hey, you know, I don't use Facebook, blah, blah, blah. Um, this is not a marketing campaign for Facebook, but the communities on Facebook are, I find valuable information in uh, black expat communities on Facebook, black expat groups, and other black travel groups. Um, it's important to check in. It's important that uh, for me, so say for example, if I'm traveling to uh, Panama, it's important for me to check in with the black expat in Panama and let people know that I am coming, let people know that I've arrived, and try to link up with at least one person in the group, have a drink, uh, have lunch or something with whomever is available, just to kind of get uh, information about, you know, the climate. So information about uh, the drivers, information about like how life is for uh, a U.S. citizen uh, moving around in Panama. I'm just using Panama as an example. Um, what's it like? What are, what types of activities are there to do? Um, who are your trusted tour guides that you would recommend? Trusted drivers, Airbnbs, hotels, restaurants, things like that. Um, I find that the black expat communities a lot, a lot of the time, they're not tour guides. But, you know, being spending so much time or spending uh, uh, an extended period of time in a particular city, in a particular country, gives you an advantage, gives you knowledge, gives you information that you can, uh, you can share with people who are coming in. A lot of times I'll come in and I'll have one thing on my mind. Yeah, I want to eat at this restaurant or I want to use this driver and somebody else will say, you know, somebody in that country will say, hey, look, uh, we recommend that you go here. We recommend that you not go there. We recommend that you avoid this and avoid that. If you if you see this, um, you know, they'll tell you, you know, things about the culture, things about the local culture, things that you need to know, things, you know, certain pitfalls um, so that we're not taken advantage of. So that's one of the valuable things about uh, checking in. Um, recently I'll tell you about some experiences that I've had where I, you know, I would advise because I, I'm also an expat, I'm a, uh, an expat in Colombia, and I always advise, you know, travelers check in, check in with the expat community, check in, um, because even though Colombia is a great place to visit, um, you know, there's certain things you need to know. There's certain, you know, certain Things about the culture, certain things about the currency, about drivers, you know, things like that. So I always caution people, listen, you don't have to spend your whole trip with me. We don't have to, you know, we, we, only have, we don't have to see each other at all, but it's good that somebody knows where you are. Um, unfortunately, people get taken advantage of, and it doesn't matter what you travel for. It doesn't matter. This is not a judgment against any particular group of travelers, any particular travel style, or any particular motivation for travel. You know, um, this is a judgment-free zone. I'm not judging anybody, but I just want to say it's very important, very, very important. Uh, check in. 
check in with your people. I've heard people say, well, I, I travel to get away from you, you know, you people. Um, and yeah, I understand you may travel to get away from the hustle and bustle and certain elements in the United States. But when once you cross that border, once you land in this country or that country, the reality is we all we got and ain't nobody going to take care of us better than we are going to take care of than We will take care of each other. Um, I know a lot of things are attractive and a lot of things are different and new and a lot of, you know, you feel a certain way. Oh, I've met this person and this person seems so trustworthy. They took me in. Nobody is going to take care of you the way we're going to take care of you. So I please check in for your safety. Um, check in. Let somebody know where you are. I've got stories for days about people who uh, got sick, people who uh, got taken advantage of, may have lost their, uh, their ID, lost your wallet, had things taken from them. And nobody even knows you're in the country. Nobody knows where you are. Nobody even knows that you need help. So that's one of the most important things about checking in. Um, in the expat community, expats know how to help you. We have resources. We can get you to the embassy. We know the emergency numbers. We know where the hospitals are. We know, you know what I'm saying? Things like that. So um, if you're watching this and, and you're one of those people who you may disagree I challenge you to reconsider, reconsider. I, I've heard people say, like, and I, I just said a few moments ago, I've had people say, yeah, I travel to get away from you, to, you know, to get away from uh, North Americans or U.S. citizens or to get away from that element, that culture. No. No. Um, and I understand... Uh, to a, to, a, to a certain degree, I understand where you're coming from, but I'm going to tell you, no, you need to check in. The check-in is the most important thing you can do, especially for solo travelers, men and women, because both, uh, anything can happen. If it can happen, it probably will happen. And if you have the information to avoid certain things, um, use that. If you have resources available, use that. So um, black travel groups on Facebook, black expat groups, um, what else? Yeah, just reach out. Reach out to influencers. You know, some, some of the influencers, all of the influencers aren't, you know, um, locked in a box. Some influencers are very, very approachable and very, um, very generous with information. So that's all I want to talk about today responsible traveling for the solo travelers. I'll get into some other things and spe more specific things a little later on. But um, for those of you who have trips planned, yo, continue to do your thing. Enjoy your, uh, your vacation. Enjoy your travels. Enjoy your trips. I encourage you to share, share, share. And uh, the, the world is a beautiful place. But the most important thing, check in. Check in. Check in. Check in. All right, I'm out. We'll talk later.